Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com and if you are like me, you are thoroughly enjoying your new Nexus 7 device. The screen is killer on this thing. It is fast and snappy, even faster than last year's Nexus 7. There was a big debacle over the factory image on this. It was not released for a little while. I guess it had been a couple of weeks, but it has finally been released. So today I'm going to show you guys how to relock your device, how to unbrick your device, how to factory reset your new Nexus 7. So if for any reason you wanted to put this back to out of the box state, you will be able to factory reset this device pretty easily with an awesome tool called the Wugfresh Nexus Toolkit. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today is how to unbrick factory restore via the Nexus Toolkit by Wugfresh. So one great thing about the Nexus Root Toolkit by Wugfresh is that it includes a full driver installation guide. So if you've never used this before and you don't have drivers installed for your Nexus device, uh, all you have to do is simply click on this and it will walk you through uh, everything you need to do in order to get those USB drivers installed. So most of the time you can just omit this and plug your device into your PC and normally your PC will automatically install the drivers but in case that does not work you do have this to fall back on. So in order to flash stock and unroot our device all we have to do is uh, select the devices on and normal and or if you're soft bricked and in a boot loop you can select that and then just simply click flash stock and unroot. So this script is designed to help you restore your device back to stock. Please note that this procedure will completely wipe your device, so make sure to back up all of your important data first. You need to be unlocked first in order to run this script. Press OK if you are ready to continue. So go ahead and press OK. And we will select our tablet, which is the Razor Flow. We're on Android build 4.3. And that's the one that we're going to install there. It says automatically download and extract the factory image. Select it from above, which is what we want to do. So go ahead and click OK. And that should begin the download. This may take a while. It is being downloaded directly off of Wugfresh's server. So just give it a little bit and it should complete the download process. As soon as it does, we will come back to that. So while that download is taking place, we'll go ahead and get our tablet set up. So we'll go into our app drawer. We'll scroll over to Settings. And we'll look for developer options. If you don't see it here, that's okay. We'll click About Tablet. We'll go to this Build Number and click on it until it says you are now a developer. So I think it's eight clicks. Then we can go into Developer Options, turn those on, and then we'll go down to USB Debugging and check that. Once all that's completed, we can go ahead and plug in our tablet. And we should be ready to complete the process once the download is finished. Okay, whenever you plug it in, it's going to say the computer's RSA key free fingerprint is, and then to give you a number, it says allow USB debugging. You're going to select OK. You select always allow from this computer and OK. And now USB debugging is turned on. So you want to make sure that you do select OK. So once it downloads the file, it's going to go ahead and flash the stock image. So it'll give you like a rundown of the things that it's doing. Uh, and then it's going to boot your device into the bootloader mode. So it'll be on that screen, and you're going to get this message on your computer. It says flashing stock will factory reset your device. Make sure to back up your important data first while it's flashing stock. Please be patient. So this is probably going to take a minute because it's having to flash the entire stock system. Uh, press OK if you're ready to continue. So we'll go ahead and press OK. And then it's going to begin the process here. So it'll run through the entire process and show you exactly what's taking place. And we'll just give this several minutes to install, and we'll come back as soon as it's finished. Okay, so when it's finished, it will give you this message here. It says, wait for your device to finish booting up. It will appear to be boot looping, just wait. It could take 5 to 10 minutes. So the reason it's taking so long is it's totally wiped the data, or it's in the process of wiping the data, and that takes a few minutes. So it will actually appear like your screen is boot looping. So you'll be at this screen for 5 to 10 minutes. Give it a minute to boot up. So this is when it's finally booted back up, please remember to re-enable USB debugging if you plan on using the toolkit to perform other operations. So as soon as this finishes, we're going to use the toolkit to relock the bootloader. And I'll show you guys how to do that, but like it says, make sure that we do turn on USB debugging. So just press any key to exit, and then we'll return to... Okay, it says, uh, and also remember this, it's a good point here, it says... Assuming the operation you just performed was successful, you should change your model type. So we know it was successful because we get the welcome screen. Uh, 
so we will go back in here and change the type. So we'll open up Nexus Toolkit again, and we'll go ahead and change this to the JSS15J. Okay, so once it boots up, we're going to want to sign in to our Google account or whatever, and then we'll go into our settings, and we will enable USB debugging the same way that we did at the beginning of the video. And then we'll just click on this OEM lock. So the script will relock your device back to the original equipment manufacturer specification, bringing you back to true factory state. You should be running stock Android before using this. So we just flashed, uh, we just used the flash stock plus unroot button. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now it's checking the ADB status. It's rebooting us into the bootloader. Like so. And then it should go ahead and open up a script and relock the bootloader. Okay, it says your device should now be relocked, which it is, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that it is. So real quickly, I'm going to boot into the uh, fast boot so that you guys can see that we are indeed locked. So running our stock unrooted factory image and we are now bootloader locked so we're totally back to factory settings and like I said this will work to unbrick your device so if you're in a boot loop or a soft brick this will work to unbrick you so we'll go volume down and power button okay and then you guys can see here that it says lock state locked so we have locked our bootloader if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me at droidmoderx on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the new Nexus 7 and other devices that I cover. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.